Number 10. Three-Eyed Pig Today, we're going to be looking at some pretty disturbing creatures recently discovered, and the three-eyed piglet is definitely one of the weirder ones. As reported by the Science Times, this mutant pig was born with two heads and three eyes, right in the middle of this worldwide pandemic. Whether the pandemic had anything to do with the deformity of the pig is undetermined, but it's pretty odd coincidence. The farmer who witnessed the three-eyed pig's birth said it was nothing like anything he had ever seen before. However, nobody took the mutated pig as a bad sign. The farmer and his family actually believed that the pig with its extra head and extra eye was a lucky charm. That was until it died four days later after its birth. Supposedly, the pig was too weak because of its deformities and died a natural death. Even though the farmer did everything he could to keep his lucky charm alive, the piglet still perished. The name of the pig's condition is polycephaly, and it's actually a rare condition in which an animal is born with two heads. This can happen to any animal, be it a pig, lizard, or human. In 2007, there was supposedly a lizard fossil that was dated back 120 million years, and that was the earliest known example of multi-headed animals. Number 9. Rat-Frog-Bat Hybrid This next creature is definitely the ugliest one I'm going to tell you about. It's also the biggest freak of nature. Nobody knows exactly what this thing is, but it appears to be a strange hybrid of a rat, a frog, and a bat. Scientists are boggled, and no experts have come forth to declare what this weird thing is. However, it has reportedly shown up in both China and Argentina. That means whatever it is, it lives in several different parts of the world. After all, China and Argentina are about as far from each other as any two countries can be. But it leaves a lot of questions. What is it? Why is it being found now in two different parts of the world? And just where did they come from? The creatures can apparently fly, crawl, and swim. They almost look like humanoids, but they are way too creepy and scary. These monsters are likely just weird bats, but we simply can't know for sure. They were discovered in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so maybe after everything has cooled down there will be an investigation and scientists can tell us just what this creepy creature really is. Number 8. Gollum Gollum has been spotted. That's right, I'm talking about Gollum from the Lord of the Rings movies. A terrifying being was spotted in the hills of China, hanging out near some caves, and it looked a lot like the creepy beast that led Frodo and Sam into Mordor. According to Metro News, it was spotted by an unnamed Chinese tourist who was camping with his friends north of Beijing. The creature was hairless, flesh-colored, and had large elf-like ears. It was seen squatting on a rock in front of what might have been a cave. It also appeared to be wearing a loincloth made of leaves. The tourist managed to snap a few pictures before running away, which they then posted on social media. Unsurprisingly, most people dismissed the pictures as some kind of hoax, but apparently it wasn't a hoax at all. The disturbing creature was actually an actor who had been filming a sci-fi film in the mountains and scuttled off into the bushes to take a pee break. That was when the tourist spotted him and freaked out. So, it wasn't Gollum. It was just an actor in a weird costume peeing on a rock. Talk about an invasion of privacy. Number 7. Chupacabra A farmer in the Ukraine has recently killed the Chupacabra with a pitchfork. At least, that's what he claims. The creature had apparently been terrorizing local livestock for months, leaving behind corpses drained of blood. And then one day, the farmer spotted the beast, ran at it, and stabbed it to death with a pitchfork like some kind of medieval lunatic. According to the reports from Express News, national wildlife experts are currently busy studying the dead beast, but have yet to identify what it really is. The Ukrainian farmer who confronted what is now being referred to as a vampire animal found the thing stalking his animals inside his barn in the night when he made his attack. As you can see from the images of this monster, it looks very much like some kind of vampire thing. Some experts say it resembles an African fox, but its teeth are too long. As of now, the animal does not fit the description of any known species. To make things worse, the local farmers claim there was not just one chupacabra terrorizing the livestock, but two. One eyewitness even claimed that the second chupacabra, which has yet to be caught, resembled something like a kangaroo when he saw it running away from his property. Number 6. Cat and Human Hybrid In another disturbing story, a tiny cat-like creature with the head of a human has been discovered in Malaysia and rumor has it that the police have been trying to shut down the story. According to local sources, police officers have been forced to deny the existence of the animal, even though photographs and videos are already circulating of it online. The clips that you can find on the internet were allegedly filmed in a rural area of Western Malaysia. 
The creature in question looks something like out of your worst nightmares. The creature has pink skin kind of like a baby, four limbs and a tiny tail, and a head that is unmistakably human. At least, except for its incredibly pointy vampire teeth and its thin black hair. It looks like a true abomination. And to make things worse, nobody knows where it came from, how many of them there are, or where the unnatural thing is now. As for the police, they have claimed that no sightings of the creature have been reported and that the pictures are actually of a silicon baby werewolf toy that can be found for sale online. And lo and behold, a quick search revealed that this exact creature is indeed for sale on Etsy for a staggering $2,500. It even has almost 400 positive reviews. So, it looks like it was all a hoax after all. Number 5. Frogzilla A Texas man has found one of the largest giant bullfrogs ever. And while people online have been debating whether the photo of this guy holding up what appears to be a frog nearly the size of a dog is fake, it turns out it's actually a matter of perspective. The South Texas Hunting Association posted the photo of Frogzilla on social media just recently, claiming it was discovered in a fishing pond at a South Texas ranch. Also, the bullfrog apparently weighed 13 pounds. This is one of those monster frogs that could probably hop straight over your head. It looks like an absolute freak of nature. But even though the frog is real, there are still some issues. Firstly, the picture is obviously an optical illusion. The guy's holding the frog out in front of him so it looks way bigger in the photograph. And as for the 13 pounds, that's probably ludicrous. The actual American bullfrog, which is indeed the largest frog in all of the United States, typically weighs no more than one and a half pounds. Even the Goliath frog that lives in Equatorial Guinea only weighs a maximum of seven pounds. In order for the bullfrog to weigh 13 pounds, it would actually have to be the size of a dog, and it obviously isn't. But still, it's a pretty big frog. Number 4. Mutant Piglet What is it with mutant piglets? This year has been full of pigs born with the most disturbing disfigurements. Forget the pig from earlier with three eyes, another pig has been born in China that has the face of a human. It's the most disturbing thing you're going to see all day. The piglet was born with a forehead that kind of looks like an elephant trunk. Not only that, but the local Chinese villagers claimed that the pig had a human face when it was born with the mouth of a chicken. While the strange mutations were likely caused by some kind of congenital condition, it's still an absolute horror to witness. And unlike some of the other stories we talked about today, this one is definitely real. You can see the video of this tormented beast screaming in agony after it's born. Luckily, the piglet died two days after its birth, so it didn't go on suffering for very long. Still, it makes you wonder just what they're doing in China to continuously produce freakish mutant pigs. Number 3. Mystery Werewolf In Argentina, a large creature has been discovered on what looks to be surveillance footage. The large creature looks to be about 7 feet tall and possibly a werewolf. This happened just recently, and you can tell by the shape of the animal that it's nothing of this world. According to the residents of the province of Santa Fe where the beast was spotted, the creature had been wandering the streets for some time and has even killed two dogs. Some people are calling it a werewolf and others are claiming it's a demon. However, this is another one of those fakes. The image was actually created using some concept art from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Somebody took the concept art for a werewolf professor and then put it into this surveillance footage to make it look like a giant werewolf was terrorizing Argentina. I don't know who comes up with this stuff, but even though this picture is fake, it still creeped me out. I might even have nightmares about it tonight. Number 2. Ancient Shrimp Let's check out an animal more of this earth. Scientists have discovered a new shrimp species, reported in the journal Nature, that is one creepy beast. The ancient shrimp they discovered was fossilized about 500 million years ago and is still extinct. When alive, the shrimp had five eyes on stalks like a crab, it had spiny hooks spiking upwards from the front of its body, and it was covered in armor. The fossil of the shrimp had a huge head shield, armored plating, and even more appendages running down its shell that all had claws. This newly discovered shrimp is apparently related to crabs and insects that are still living on the planet today. The ancient shrimp would eventually morph into most of the crustaceans of today, even scorpions and bees. It's not earth-shattering stuff, but a shrimp with too many eyes and claws is definitely creepy. Number 1. Virginia Snake Worm It doesn't get much creepier than a snake, but what about a snake that's actually a giant worm? That's even worse! In Virginia, a bizarre worm has been spotted and people don't quite know what to do. 
Images of the creature were sent to the Virginia Wildlife Management and Control Pest Service Company, with the public thinking they had found a new species of snake. But later, the thing was identified as being a hammerhead flatworm. The worm is actually native to Asia, but arrived in the United States through the plant trade many decades ago. This nightmarish worm is so horrible that it eats other worms. Insiders reported the story on this weird thing, and they claim that it's a worm that preys on earthworms. And when it's time for this creepy worm to reproduce, the hammerhead flatworm will split itself in half. Then the back half will grow into a full worm, and the top half will just kind of slither away. Number 10. Marine Hatchetfish The marine hatchetfish is perhaps the ghostliest creature in the ocean. These things have the most horrifying faces of any fish ever. In fact, they almost look like screaming people with great big eyes, or maybe they even look like ghosts. They get their name because of their hatchet shape, and they can be found throughout most of the tropical and subtropical oceans in the world. While the fish seems innocent enough when looking at it from its side, it's really their faces that leave people unnerved. They appear to be in great agony. These fish typically live in the twilight zone, just a few hundred feet beneath the surface of the water. There's still enough light in this area for their eyes to be useful, which may be why they grew to be so big. In fact, their eyes are even angled in a weird upwards position to soak in as much of the sunlight as possible. They then use the shadows of crustaceans and fish to hunt for prey. And if you're wondering why the hatchet fish is so thin, it's to help them avoid predators. Since they don't cast a very large shadow, other predators can't use their same hunting method against them. And to make these fish even creepier, they have bioluminescent photophores on their undersides that emit a cool blue light, essentially turning the fish invisible to the ghoulish twilight of the ocean. Number 9. The Horror Frog With a name like Horror Frog, you know this creature is going to be weird. There's the fact that the Horror Frog grows the most disgusting hair you've ever seen. No. Frogs are not supposed to be hairy, but there is so much more to the horror frog than simply its weird hair. According to a researcher from the Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology, horror frogs break their own bones to produce claws that puncture through their toe pads. Basically, they shatter their own bones in their hands so that the jagged pieces stick through their skin and they can use their bone claws as a defense mechanism. It's a pretty scary mechanism and not something I would suggest trying. While some frogs have bony spines to protect them from predators, the horror frog makes its own. But it's not all bad. Considering the horror frog is an amphibian, most researchers agree that it can likely heal itself and regenerate tissue after breaking its bones. And as for the weird hair that grows along its legs and onto its torso, researchers believe it helps the frog to take in more oxygen while caring for a brood of young. The frog itself is relatively rare, and they are considered somewhat of a delicacy in Cameroon, where to this day hunters still use spears and machetes to catch the frogs to eat them. They allegedly have to use spears to avoid being cut up by the frog's bony claws. Number 8. Giant Spitting Cobra You might not be surprised that this next animal exists. Everyone has heard of cobras that can spit venom into a person's face, but most of us probably haven't thought much about it. The truth is that there is a large spitting cobra living in Kenya, and it can definitely spit venom straight into your mouth and eyes. According to Wildlife Direct, the world's largest spitting cobra was discovered in Kenya in 2007. And get ready to be scared, because this creature has no business existing on Earth. The species measures 15 feet long and has the capability of spitting venom and injecting venom with its fangs. And while the venom is completely harmless if it just hits your skin, the issue is when it splashes into your eyes or gets into your mouth. If you come across one of these snakes and it spits at you, the venom could instantly cause blindness. And if the venom gets into your mouth, some of it could leak into your stomach and eventually into your bloodstream. And of course, there's always the chance that you could just get a pair of fangs into your flesh like any other snake, which of course would be very bad news. But there is some good news. All poisonous snakes are typically killed on site in East Africa. You aren't likely to run into a giant viper that can spit in your face and blind you. But still, it's frightening to know that these serpents exist. Number 7. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko is actually a real creature, and it is creepy. Poor thing can't help it. However, you may have seen a photograph circling the internet of a demonic-looking lizard with bat wings, and while the gecko is close, the Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko doesn't actually have wings. The lizard in the photograph is indeed a leaf-tailed gecko, but somebody photoshopped wings onto it. It's scary enough on its own without making it look like some kind of crazy baby dragon. 
The real leaf-tailed gecko is fascinating. It may not be able to fly, but it is a very cool little dragon. It has an extremely unique appearance and one of the best camouflage techniques in the animal kingdom. These critters live mostly in the rainforest areas of Madagascar, and even though they sometimes look like little dragons, more often than not they actually just look like leaves. These geckos have evolved to perfectly blend into their environments, meaning that when they live in the trees, it's hard to discern between the gecko and a fallen leaf. They can change their color in response to mood and environment, just like a chameleon. If you're wondering why such an innocent gecko got such a horrendous name, it's exactly because the biologist who found it, George Bullinger, was just as shocked as you are by its demonic red eyes. In any case, this is definitely the coolest gecko on the planet. Number 6. Lobster Moth Caterpillar The Lobster Moth Caterpillar is perhaps the ugliest caterpillar you've ever seen. The Lobster Moth itself is actually quite normal. It just looks like any large moth with its white and grey wings and fuzzy body. It's the caterpillar that doesn't look like it should exist. It's not dangerous, it's just unusual and a little scary to look at. It's like a weird mix between a lobster, a caterpillar and a scorpion. Take everything you know about garden variety caterpillars and throw it all out the window. The lobster moth caterpillar is unusual in that it mimics the behavior of an ant or a spider to ward off predators. They have extremely long legs on their thorax that constantly twist about like a spider's legs. And if you thought this horrifying monster caterpillar was something that only lives in the deep jungles of the Amazon, you were wrong. The lobster moth caterpillar is actually distributed all throughout Great Britain. This is a caterpillar that any English person might find hanging out on the leaves of their garden. The most obvious comparison is that it looks like a lobster. And even though it's not dangerous to you, the caterpillar is able to shoot a type of formic acid which is normally something only found in ant venom as a defense against predators. Number 5. Bear Cat Just take one look at the bear cat and decide whether it's a cat or a bear. You can't. It's literally impossible. The creature definitely has the lazy attitude and thin whiskers of a cat, but it has the shaggy black hair of a small bear. The only way you would be right is if you guessed neither. The bear cat is not a bear or a cat. It actually belongs to the civet and mongoose family, though it certainly doesn't look like any mongoose I've ever seen. The bear cat is something that should be stuck in a fantasy book, but instead it really does live among us, spending most of its time relaxing in the trees, foraging for fruit on branches, and acting a lot like a lazy sloth. These creatures lurk primarily in South Asia and Southeast Asia, and they are considered at risk by the IUCN. But if you thought a mongoose that looks like a cross between a bear and a cat was weird already, wait until you hear about the distinctive odour of the bear cat. It's one of the only animals in the world that gives off a scent like hot popcorn. How did evolution come up with that? Oh yeah, and even though it's weird, the bear cat is still ridiculously adorable. They can live for at least 17 years in captivity and grow to be roughly 3 feet long. As for those adorable whiskers on the front of its face, it uses them to feel its way around in the dark while it forages for something to eat. These are night hunting creatures and can typically only be spotted when the sun goes down. Number 4. Wolf Trap Anglerfish Everyone's familiar with the anglerfish. We all know about the horrifying deep sea monster with the glowing fishing rod attached to its head so that it can trick prey into swimming into its jaws. But if you thought the standard anglerfish was a freak of nature, just take a look at the wolf trap anglerfish. This thing literally has a fishing rod growing out of its forehead. It's also horrifying to look at. Their jaws are enormous, just like any other anglerfish, but it's the color that really makes a person's hair stand on end. The wolf trap anglerfish looks like a demonic monster that should be in another dimension rather than swimming around in the Earth's oceans. As for that lure dangling off the fishing rod inserted into its forehead, it's probably known as an esker, which is a bioluminescent appendage type deal with a hook on it. This has led researchers to speculation over how exactly the fish uses the bait. Some scientists think it casts the lure forward to entice fish to get near it, and this could be right. Not many studies have been done regarding this bizarre fish. Other than being horribly ugly, the other big difference between the wolf trap anglerfish and other anglerfish is that it lives in part of the ocean known as the abyss, about 13,000 feet below the surface. Other anglerfish typically live in the twilight zone or the midnight zone, up to only 6,600 feet. Number 3. Thorny Devil This is Thorny Devil, a small Australian lizard completely covered in thorns. It almost looks like a walking thorn bush. The lizard lives in the dry scrublands and deserts of most of the country, and its entire body is covered in spikes and scales to ward off predators. And while this isn't actually that shocking for a lizard, the real oddity here is that the thorny devil has a false head located at the back of its neck. Through all the years of evolution, 
This lizard has actually grown a redundant head on its neck that it can show to predators when under attack. The logic here is that the lizard will hide its true head while its predator bites off the fake head. It's basically the lizard equivalent of having a decoy wallet so that you don't get robbed. Luckily, the thorny devil is not under any threat of extinction. According to the IUCN, it's labelled under least concern. This means you might even stumble upon one of these small spiky monsters on your next trip to the Australian desert. But then again, maybe not. The lizard can run faster than humans can, so good luck catching it. Number 2. Mantis Shrimp This has to be one of the most boggling crustaceans ever found in the ocean. Scientists often refer to the mantis shrimp as a super shrimp, and it's perhaps the most effective death machine living under the water. Even though the mantis shrimp is only 4 inches long, and colourfully ugly with big bulging eyes and a strange orange body, it's outrageously strong. Pound for pound, it's one of the strongest animals in the world. And here's where it gets crazy. Rather than snatching prey with fangs or claws, the mantis shrimp punches its meal into submission. The mantis shrimp has clubs attached to its body that it uses for punching its prey, hitting with a force from a 2 2 caliber handgun bullet. That's how strong this little shrimp is. It can literally shatter the shells of crabs and clams with one punch. It's like the one punch shrimp. Even when scientists are capturing mantis shrimps to study, they have to bring specialized plastic tanks because the shrimps are so strong they can punch their way out of glass tanks. And here's how the punch works. The shrimp's club mechanism is spring-loaded, kind of like a crossbow. When they release their club, it accelerates at 50 miles per hour and hits with a massive force of over 2,500 times the weight of the shrimp. So yeah, the strangely colorful mantis shrimp is definitely a spectacular super being. Number 1. Raccoon Dogs Now here's something cute and unbelievable, yet a little disturbing. It's another hybrid species, the raccoon dog. According to the BBC, Raccoon dogs recently terrorized a small village in the United Kingdom, attacking goats, knocking things over, and causing general mayhem. But kind of like the bear cat, the raccoon dog is not a raccoon or a dog. It's actually part of the canid family, most closely related to a fox or a badger. Apparently, raccoon dogs were first introduced into Europe from Asia as part of the fur trade. They were also traded as exotic pets because of their cuddly appearance. However, this is likely a bad idea, as raccoon dogs can be extremely vicious. Luckily, they're too small to cause any serious damage. They are now mostly pests that eat garbage and attack livestock throughout parts of Europe. Number 10. Titanoboa Out of all the terrifying creatures you're glad don't exist anymore, the Titanoboa is probably at the top of the list. Nobody likes snakes in the first place, and nobody wants a snake the size of a school bus slithering around their neighborhood. This is not an animal you would have wanted to encounter in the Amazon jungle millions of years ago. This thing was at least 45 feet long and weighed as much as a small car. According to a vertebrate paleontologist from the Florida Museum, the Titanoboa was as long as the largest T-Rex ever found, which is currently on display at Chicago's Field Museum. The first bones of the Titanoboa were found in Colombia by a team of international researchers. When looking at the fossilized vertebrae on the Titanoboa compared to a modern anaconda, the difference is shocking. The snake's body was so wide that if it somehow made it into your house, it would have to force its way through your door frame. It would hardly even fit. Luckily, the snake lived only for about 10 million years following the extinction of the dinosaurs, 65 million years before today. It would have existed at the same time as turtles that were 10 feet in diameter and crocodiles that would make you scream in terror. What's really interesting about the Titanoboa is that because of its gigantic dimensions, scientists believe that temperatures near the equator were significantly higher millions of years ago. This contributed to the ordinary animals we know today being grossly larger than they are now. Number 9. The Helicoprion The Helicoprion is something out of a horror movie. It's half shark, half saw blade, and anyone who loves to swim in the ocean should be thankful that this creature no longer exists. While its exact size is unknown, most scientists place it at being roughly 21 feet long. Some specimens have been found smaller, and so the size may vary depending on the age and the species. This horrifying creature would have lived all over the globe from the Permian era, all throughout the Triassic, and it's best known for its tooth whirl, which is what truly makes the Helicoprion a monster. Basically, the tooth whirl was a saw blade in the shark's mouth. It's unlike anything that exists today. Rather than having a mouth of serrated teeth like the great white shark, this shark had its teeth arranged in a spiral. When eating prey, the teeth would have acted like a saw blade, 
crushing up the hard shells of ammonites and shoveling more food into the beast's face. However, it was not always known how exactly the tooth wall worked. When the fossilized teeth of the helicoprion were first discovered in the early 1900s, scientists initially thought it was either on the tail or on the dorsal fin. It wasn't until 2013 that the study was released claiming the world to be located within the lower jaw. Fortunately for everyone on Earth, no such tooth whirl exists today. It must have been a failed evolutionary experiment. Number 8. Terror Birds Humans give themselves a little too much credit. After all, we've really only been shaping the world for a few thousand years give or take. That's absolutely nothing compared to the reign of the terror birds that literally terrorized the Earth for about 60 million years. According to the BBC, during those 60 million years, 17 species of giant terrifying birds came and went, all the while eating every animal in sight. They basically replaced the Velociraptor and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. After the comet killed the dinosaurs, some of the first new giant predators were the terror birds, and they actually ruled most of the Earth until about 2.5 million years ago. If you've ever seen an emu or a cassowary, imagine the same thing only bigger and scarier. These birds would have been able to break into your house and eat you. However, there are very few fossils to document their existence. Paleontologists have known about the creatures for about 100 years, but they have yet to learn much about how they operated as dominant predators or what happens to them. They would have existed most recently in a time when Central America didn't exist and South America was only an island, with the rest of the world taken over by saber-toothed cats and direwolves. One of the more famous of the terror birds was something known as Andalgalornis. Scientists are still unsure how large the bird was exactly, but it definitely had a massive head with an extremely strong beak that it could use to bite through skull, or strike another animal down with quick blows, kind of like getting hit in the head with a massive sledgehammer. Number 7. Ancient Dragonflies Believe it or not, the largest insect that ever existed was a distant relative to a dragonfly. This creature is named Meganeuropsis, and it ruled the skies way before birds or bats ever came to life. It also lived before the dawn of the dinosaurs. These ancient dragonflies lasted during the Artkinsian Age, which was around 285 million years ago. Fossils of the enormous insect were first described in 1939. The original description was based on incomplete fossil wings found in Kansas. So far as we know, the ancient dragonflies would have had a wingspan of about 30 inches. That is significantly larger than any buzzing insect flying around today. Imagine a dragonfly more than two feet long trying to ruin your picnic. If you can't picture that, it's like if your cat grew wings and turned into a bug. Researchers believe the reason the original dragonflies got so large is because there was such a higher oxygen content in the atmosphere back then. During the Carboniferous period, there was a huge influx in global oxygen levels, and this encouraged wild amounts of growth all throughout the world, including with insects and trees. And considering this was a time before very large carnivores, the world was mostly ruled by giant dragonflies, disturbing fish, primitive sharks, amphibians, and even reptiles. However, the ancient dragonfly as well as all those other animals died out at the end of the Permian period, with the great extinction that wiped out over 90% of all life on the planet. Number 6. Megacroc As you can probably guess judging by the rest of the creatures in this video, there was indeed a mega crocodile. It existed in the Cretaceous period. Just like there were giant bugs and giant snakes, there was also a giant crocodile. Its proper name is Sarcosuchus, and it's an extinct type of crocodilian. It would have lived throughout Africa and South America, and was significantly bigger than any modern saltwater crocodile. In comparison, the mega croc could grow to be roughly 31 feet in length, while a saltwater crocodile today can only grow to be around 21 feet in length. The older crocodile had a very long snout, telescoped eyes, and at least 35 teeth in each side of its upper jaw. In fact, the jaws of the mega crocodile more closely resemble the jaws of a gharial, only larger and meaner. Most scientists believe that Sarcosuchus would have had a diet that consisted of fish, other crocodilians, and even dinosaurs. Just like a modern-day crocodile, this beast would have been an apex predator, and it would have ruled the swampy regions where it lived. Thankfully, these toothy reptiles are no longer stalking through the Florida Everglades. Number 5. Ratzilla We've seen a prehistoric crocodile that can eat dinosaurs. Now it's time to look at a prehistoric rat that could eat crocodiles. Believe it or not, three million years ago in South America, there was a rodent the size of a bison. That's right, there was once a rat the size of a cow. If that's not terrifying enough, this monster of a rodent likely had teeth comparable to elephant tusks. It was the largest rodent that ever existed. 
And according to Science Magazine, scientists recently used a CT scanner to take a detailed imprint of the rodent's skull to try and find out just how fierce its bite force was. Simulations showed that Ratzilla could bite with 4,165 newtons. In other words, the rat had a bite force three times higher than a tiger or a medium-sized crocodile. Obviously, it's great that Ratzilla no longer exists. The researchers who published the original study of the monster rodent's teeth also claimed that its two front teeth were strong enough to take the stress produced by three times the amount of their bite force. This essentially means that the rodent could have used its teeth to dig roots, to bite through the leg of a T-Rex, or to fight others for territory. Number 4. Mega Piranha The Mega Piranha was almost the size of a person. If you were scared to get into the water before because of a potential piranha attack, imagine having to contend with fleets of giant fish with razor teeth that were way bigger than the ones today. The Mega Piranha lived during the Miocene period, roughly 8 to 10 million years ago. The only currently known fossils of this terrifying fish were a few teeth found from an upper jaw. There simply have not been enough fossils found to construct a full picture of this animal's behavior or what it looks like. However, scientists have said that assuming the Mega Piranha had a similar body to those living today, it would have been about 3 feet in length. However, it may not have been a ferocious carnivore like today's piranhas. The ancient Mega Piranha would have been a type of omnivore. The few teeth that were found suggested a similarity between both piranha teeth and pacu teeth, meaning the fish could have eaten flesh or plants. Number 3. Hast's Eagle Eagles are scary enough as they are today. If you happen to live in an area populated with lots of eagles, you know how dangerous it is to leave your feline friend outside alone, and you probably know how anxious you can get just letting a small dog go to the bathroom outside. Eagles are notorious for collecting dog collars and cat collars in their nests. Not only can an eagle scoop up your pet, but an eagle can even scoop up your baby if given a chance. But today's eagles are nothing compared to the Hast's eagle, which lived in New Zealand and only went extinct in the 1400s. It's a relatively new extinction which came about after the Maori settled on the South Island of New Zealand and began to kill wildlife. This eagle was powerful enough that it could take on the biggest flightless birds of the day, like the moa or the emu. The host's eagle was essentially a dragon that would swoop down from the sky and kill whatever it wanted, then fly back to its nest. It had a wingspan of roughly 9 feet and could swoop at 50 miles per hour. Imagine razor-sharp talons flying at your face at 50 miles per hour. It's pretty much like being hit by a bullet. Most scientists agree that the host's eagle and the moa evolved because of island gigantism, a strange phenomenon in which animals isolated from other populations on an island end up growing way larger than they would otherwise. But of course, the Maori arrived in the 1400s and hunted everything to extinction. Number 2. The Prehistoric Vulture Many scientists believe that the Argentavis was the largest flying bird that ever existed. The host's eagle was definitely a recent monster, but the Argentavis was a prehistoric vulture with a wingspan of up to 26 feet. At least, that is what some scientists have guessed. To put that into perspective, its wingspan could have been about the same length as the largest snake in the world today. Just think about the size of that bird for two seconds. It would block out the sun when it flew over your house. This thing could probably tackle a small airplane out of the sky. It's not something anyone would want flying around their neighborhood, stealing people out for a morning jog. This species of bird stood about the height of an average person. It had strong legs and large feet, with a large bill that had a hooked tip for scooping out guts. It also weighed roughly 180 pounds, and would have controlled a large territory for hunting. But even though the bird was so large, it was probably like a modern vulture in that it preferred to scavenge for carrion. Because of its monstrous size and its horrifying appearance, it likely chased other carnivores away from their kills and then finished their meals for them. Number 1. Giant Ocean Scorpion Finishing off the video today is a creature that makes my skin crawl, even though it lived 467 million years ago. This creature was a scorpion that lived underwater and was the same size as a person. This is like something out of your worst nightmare, or a B-rated horror movie. The scorpion was literally the size of a person. It is also one of the most ancient ancestors of modern spiders and lobsters, because lobsters are basically underwater scorpions anyway. Fossils of the animal were most recently discovered in Iowa by geologists with the Iowa Geological Survey at the University of Iowa way back in 2010. Researchers claimed that the giant ocean scorpion, also known as the Pentacopterus, would have grown to be 6 feet in length with a long head, a narrow body, and large limbs that it used for trapping prey. Just imagine meeting one of these things underwater. In fact, if there were 6 foot long scorpions skulking around the bottom of the sea, it's pretty much a guarantee that nobody would ever go diving again.
Number 11. The Canadian Lynx One of the rarest cats in the world is the Canadian Lynx. This amazing snow cat can be found mainly throughout Canada and in some northern US states. This lynx is a specialist predator, meaning that it has a very specific type of food. It feeds almost exclusively on the snowshoe hare, but they are capable of taking down a target as large as a young reindeer. It has been estimated that roughly just 100 of these animals are left in the state of Idaho, as they are under threat of recreational trapping. The typical Canadian lynx can weigh up to 24 pounds and is only about twice the size of your average house cat. They generally live at higher elevations and in places with lots of snow. They also face danger because of habitat destruction and reduced snow caused by climate change. And even though it's illegal to trap a lynx, it sometimes happens by accident when people try to capture other big felines like bobcats. Number 10. Flat-headed cat You've probably never heard of the flat-headed cat, but guess what? It exists! It's one of the most unusual members of the cat family, distinguished from other cats because of its long and relatively flat head. It's about the size of a domestic cat, but has very short legs and a stubby short tail. Otherwise, you would never know the cat was wild. The flat-headed cat is very similar to the cheetah and the fishing cat in that its claws cannot be fully retracted. This means its claws are out all the time. The flat-headed cat lives specifically on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo and once roamed through Thailand, but is believed to have gone extinct in this area. Very little is known about the species, and in 2013, the second one ever was photographed in Malaysia. The first confirmed sighting in Sumatra only took place in 1995. That's just how incredibly rare the flat-headed cat is. Number 9. The Fishing Cat The fishing cat is a truly remarkable feline. It looks almost like a lynx with its tall, pointy ears. But the fishing cat has a very distinct face. Why is it called the fishing cat? Because it loves to get in the water and hunt for fish. These cats can weigh up to 26 pounds and can usually be found wandering through mangrove swamps, marshes or reed beds. They live primarily in India and Indonesia and are very rarely seen. In captivity, a fishing cat can live for up to 12 years. And while scientists believe these cats are mostly solitary, there is very little known about their social system since they are so hard to observe and study. However, we do know that their diet is made up primarily of fish which they scoop or bite out of the water, but they may also eat other aquatic prey like frogs and water snakes. In fact, it's believed that these cats can even prey on wild pigs and goats. In India, they sometimes scavenge the remains of tiger kills. It's unclear how many are living at the moment, but it's believed that the destruction of wetlands and the illegal wildlife trade in Myanmar is contributing to their gradual extinction. Have you ever heard of this cat before? Do you think your cat would be able to fish? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more animal videos. Number 8. Snow Leopard Out of all the rare cats on this list today, the Snow Leopard is definitely the biggest. It's also arguably the most gorgeous rare cat in the world. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, Snow Leopards can only be found in the higher mountains of Asia, specifically in the Himalayan region. All snow leopards live above the tree line up to an elevation of 18,000 feet. Still, they have lots of room to roam, living all the way from Pakistan to Mongolia. Snow leopards are incredible for numerous reasons. They are agile, they have remarkable features, and they can jump roughly 50 feet in length. Snow leopards are also referred to as ghosts of the mountains because they are so elusive. It's almost impossible to track these animals, and even if you do, they're easy to lose because their coat of fur makes them blend in perfectly with the snow. As for just how rare these beasts are, there's estimated to only be around 4,000 to 6,000 left in the wild. Luckily, they live in an extremely isolated part of the world that isn't being encroached upon by human civilization as quickly as places like the Amazon jungle or the wetlands of the United States. Number 7. Manx Also known as Rumpies or Stubbins because of their missing tail, this unusual cat comes from the Isle of Man, famous for its 1,000 banks and small population. Why doesn't it have a tail? Because the Manx cat was late for Noah's Ark and Noah slams the door and severed its tail. No, actually. The remote island means that there have been many generations of inbreeding, causing a genetic mutation that leaves them without a tail. Alongside this distinguishing feature, they also have long hind legs and round faces. They look very similar to the common tabby cat at first glance, but they are very different upon closer inspection. The locals love this kitty and it's on currency, stamps, logos and t-shirts. 
The rarest of this breed are ones with all white fur. They are also notoriously adept hunters, which is why they were often found on ships or farms as a means of pest control. Number 6. Borneo Bay Cat The Borneo Bay Cat is truly impressive. It doesn't even really look like a cat. It almost looks like a monkey or a lemur, with abnormally long tail and long limbs. The Borneo Bay Cat has chestnut hair that could easily belong to a monkey. Experts got there first, and one of few close looks at one of them in 1992 when someone brought a dying female to the Sarawak Museum. The first published photograph of a bay cat appeared in BBC Wildlife magazine in 1998. There are no captive specimens, and the estimated wild population numbers less than 2,500. And it's no wonder. The Borneo bay cat only lives on the island of Borneo in a very small area. It doesn't have much room to roam around. The Borneo bay cat is likely a solitary animal and probably hunts mostly birds and small monkeys. Its body is shaped so strangely because it spends most of its time swinging around in the trees. Again, more like a monkey than a cat. And even though the Borneo bay cat isn't very large, it can be ferocious. You definitely would not want to mess with one of these felines. Unfortunately, they are only getting rarer and rarer as the forests of Borneo are cut down to make room for plantations. Number 5. Andean Cat The Andean Cat is simply adorable. This feisty little feline has ashy grey fur and is ridiculously small. They only grow to be roughly 14 inches tall, weighing between 8 and 13 pounds. According to the International Society for Endangered Cats, the Andean cat is primarily found at high elevations in the Andes Mountains in the countries of Peru and Bolivia, in the north of Chile and in northern Argentina. However, there have been some supposed sightings of the Andean cat hanging out on the Patagonia steppe. Like most cats, the Andean cat has a specialised requirement for living. They love the rocky, relatively dry zones of the Andes. Here, they spend their days being adorable and hunting for small prey at dawn and dusk, such as small birds and rock lizards. Unfortunately, there are only around 1,000 of these cats still in existence. The Andean mountain cat looks similar to another South American feline called the Pampas cat. While the two share a common habitat and hunt in the same territory, they are different species, complicating observers' abilities to definitively establish each cat's population and distribution. Number 4. Sand Cat Meet another small yet adorable rare cat. The sand cat lives throughout the deserts of Africa and Asia and is perfectly adapted to live in dry and inhospitable environments. The sand cat can live without water, it can run on sand, and it can even detect prey underground. Sand cats have dense hairs on the soles of their feet that protect them from hot sand while allowing them to move swiftly across it. But perhaps the best news about the sand cat is that they are not yet endangered. According to the National Zoo, they are only near threatened, which means we don't have to worry about conservation efforts for some years to come. They've likely survived due to their small size and the remote regions in which they thrive. If you're wondering what such an interesting little kitty eats, the answer is undoubtedly going to surprise you. Much of their prey includes venomous vipers and other incredibly dangerous snakes. It's like if your house cat was bringing home rattlesnakes every day. Number 3. Black-Footed Cat Now it's time to take a look at the world's deadliest cat. While you may think that the lion or the tiger is the deadliest feline predator in the world, that's not true. The African black-footed cat is in fact the world's deadliest predator. It weighs 200 times less than the lion, and yet it has a success rate of 60% when hunting. That is simply unheard of in the predator world. The lion only has a success rate of between 20 and 25%. The black-footed cat only stands about 8 inches tall, weighing around 3 pounds, but they are deadly monsters. At first glance, the black-footed cat is definitely cute, but just stare into its eyes for a few seconds too long and you can feel the stone-cold gaze of a killer. This cat will capture more prey in a single night than a leopard will in the span of six months. This cat is so ferocious that it even has its own PBS miniseries. In a single night, the black-footed cat will kill anywhere between 10 and 14 rodents or birds. It's such a skillful hunter that it's basically impossible for it to go hungry for even a day. Unfortunately, as of 2016, the black-footed cat was moved to the vulnerable status, meaning that it is now at a high risk of being endangered in the wild. This fierce predator can only be found in Botswana, Namibia and South Africa. Number 2. Jaguarundi The Jaguarundi is another of those cats that doesn't look like a cat. It kind of looks like an angry miniature bear or something. It also looks very mean. It has a death stare like no other cat you've ever seen in your life. 
In fact, now that I think about it, the Jagorundi looks more like an otter with a temper than a friendly kitty. This is probably because the Jagorundi has a slender body, a flat head, a long tail and the strangest red brown fur. It also has short ears kind of like an otter. These cats live primarily in the lowlands of Latin America, all the way from Mexico to Argentina. They have huge patches of territory, with males overlapping less than 5%. That makes for excellent breeding situations. Also, it means that the Jagrarundi is one of the least endangered cats on the list, even though it is very rare to see. It's actually considered common all throughout South America, even if you never do see one. They live in dense forests, making them pretty much invisible. Number 1. Iberian Lynx Unfortunately, this is the rarest and most endangered cat in the world. As of 2002, there were less than 100 left in the wild. A conservation project called Life Iberlynx is helping to recover some of the species' lost territories. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, since then their numbers have increased to around 400. It is now in a very delicate balancing act between preserving the Iberian lynx and watching it fade into history. Almost nobody has seen one of these animals in the wild with their own eyes. They live mostly in remote parts of Spain and have pretty much only been photographed by sensory cameras in the forests. Number 10. Shark on Shark Crime Perhaps one of the most unexpected things ever found inside of a shark was another shark. Of course, this really is just the circle of life. The little fish is eaten by the bigger fish, and the bigger fish is eaten by the even bigger fish. But this doesn't usually happen with sharks. Nonetheless, in 2013, researchers from the University of Delaware managed to catch photographic evidence of a small shark that had been swallowed by a much larger tiger shark. This photograph was taken in Delaware Bay, and the story of how it happened is pretty hilarious. The researchers were trying to recover tags from sand tiger sharks. To do that, they need to capture every tiger shark with a tag. Researchers baited a hook with tiny fish, threw it into the water, and soon a three-foot dogfish shark came and took the bait. Within seconds, a sand tiger shark came out of nowhere and completely swallowed the new shark that was hanging on the line. Perfect bait! Photographs were snapped and the tiger shark was apprehended, tagged, and then released back into the wild. Tiger sharks are known to be pretty versatile eaters, basically opening their mouth and swallowing whatever will fit inside, which is quite a lot considering they grow to be about 10 feet long. Sand tiger sharks are also known as the ragged tooth shark because of its three rows of teeth. Despite how it might look, these sharks are not known to be aggressive towards humans, so you don't have anything to worry about. Smaller sharks, on the other hand, better watch out. Number 9. GoPro Everyone who goes diving should bring a GoPro with them. It's the best way to document your experience underwater. You never know what might happen, but you're not supposed to let sharks swallow your camera. This is exactly what happened off the coast of Australia when a guy lost his underwater camera during a fishing trip. It was at the end of the day, the leftovers from the day's catch were being thrown overboard, and there was a feeding frenzy of lemon sharks. But soon, the bull sharks came. The guy had his camera fixed to the end of a pole and stuck it in the water, but when a bull shark decided to swallow it, there was not much he could do. Miraculously, the GoPro continued filming inside the mouth of the shark. It showed the most incredible footage of what it would actually look like to be swallowed whole by a shark. You simply can't make this stuff up. And to make things even more amazing, the bull shark decided to spit the camera out after a few seconds. The owner of the camera ended up getting his equipment back, thanks to the buoyant orange handle, which allowed it to float to the surface after the shark was done playing with it. The guy then went home and uploaded the amazing footage online of the camera's traumatic experience of being eaten by a shark. Do you have any experiences with sharks? Would you ever swim with sharks? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more animal videos just like these. Number 8. Giant Sea Turtle you might think that a great white shark could eat whatever it wants, and that may be partly true. However, sometimes a great white shark bites off far more than it can chew. In 2019, the gruesome images surfaced of a 4,500 pound great white shark covered in blood. The shark had died, but how? Turns out the poor shark choked to death on a sea turtle. The turtle was still stuck inside the shark's mouth when it was found off the coast of Japan. The beast was discovered caught up in some netting, 
just one day after it was seen swimming around with a sea turtle stuck in its mouth. It couldn't spit the turtle out, and it couldn't swallow the turtle, so the shark was doomed. The turtle also died, so it was probably a pretty upsetting experience for the both of them. Number 7. A Human As you might expect, one of the most disturbing things ever swallowed by a shark was a human. In our next story, the remains of a kayaker were found inside the belly of a giant tiger shark just days after the person went missing. After it was caught off the coast of Reunion Island, a routine dissection showed human limbs undigested inside of the stomach. Unfortunately, the remains were almost certainly once part of a full human who had been kayaking just days before. The guy who went missing was in his early 70s, and according to a report from Express News, he was identified by jewellery that was also found inside of the shark's body. There was no need for forensic tests to identify him, as nobody else had gone missing in the waters those days. However, it was still unknown whether the man had been eaten by the shark while alive, or if he had drowned and then been swallowed. Tiger sharks are incredibly large, and they are opportunistic feeders. It wouldn't be surprising for a tiger shark to either attack the kayaker or scoop him up. In another similar case, a Scottish tourist went missing off the coast of Reunion. He was last seen swimming until he disappeared. His wife reported his disappearance to the police, but it wasn't until a shark coughed up a human hand that suspicions were confirmed. He had been eaten by a shark. His wife identified the wedding ring on the hand that was found inside a tiger shark. While shark attacks are extremely rare, Reunion Island is a hotspot due to the environmental conditions that seem to be perfect for sharks. There is a big debate on the best solution to keep humans safe, which includes surfing bans, shark nets, or allowing large-scale killing of sharks. What do you think would be the best solution for sharks and humans to live peacefully together? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Porcupine Fish By far one of the strangest things ever swallowed by a shark was a porcupine. But it's not the kind of porcupine you might be thinking of. A hungry shark tried to swallow a spiny porcupine fish, which resulted in the unfortunate demise of the shark. Just like the other shark that tried to swallow an enormous sea turtle, this shark also bit off much more than it could chew. A spiny porcupine fish is a lot like a land porcupine. The shark tried to eat it, but all the prickles and spikes got hooked inside of the shark's mouth and stopped it from being able to swallow. The spikes also blocked the shark's gills from working properly, basically causing it to suffocate. According to live science, the incident took place near the Maldives, and the aftermath of the strange encounter was photographed and documented by a marine biologist who just so happens to be in the area. The shark was a lemon shark, which are pretty frequent swimmers in the waters around the Maldives. These same waters are home to a massive population of porcupine fish, which you might also know as balloon fish or spiny puffers. These fish are famous for their ability to inflate their bodies like giant spiky balloons. The marine biologist who stumbled upon the scene said that she had never seen anything like it in her entire life. Number 5. Thousands of Plastic Pieces It's pretty old news by now that the ocean is full of plastic, but it might be even worse than previously imagined. According to the BBC, a new study has found that the waters are so contaminated near Indonesia that whale sharks could potentially be swallowing hundreds of pieces of plastic. But not just every day, and not just every week. The new study says that whale sharks may be swallowing hundreds upon hundreds of plastic shards every hour because of the dangerous levels of pollution. The big issue here is that the waters around Indonesia are full of plankton and other yummy foods that whale sharks and other large fish like to eat. But when the whale shark opens its mouth, it swallows mass amounts of plastic waste. The study was completed by scientists using thin nets to gather samples and measure just how much plastic is invisible in the water. By using a magical science formula, the scientist figured out that filter feeders, just like whale sharks, are consuming shocking amounts of plastic on an hourly basis. This is because even normal plastic will break down into small pieces known as microplastics, which can easily be scooped up by humans and sharks alike. So, even though the whale sharks are getting a healthy dose of plankton, they are also eating plenty of man-made garbage. The study also found that during the rainy season, there is up to 44 times more plastic in the seawater than in the dry season because rivers carry mass quantities of waste, trash, and stuff that doesn't belong in the ocean, into the ocean. Number 4. Swallowed Hole In this case, instead of being something strange that a shark swallowed, let's check out a recent story in which a shark was completely swallowed by some random fish. 
This happened in 2019 during a deep sea feeding frenzy off the South Carolina coast. Video captured the exact moments when one of the sharks involved in the feeding frenzy was swallowed live by something known as a wreckfish. The footage was captured by the NOAA Ocean Exploration and Research Team. They had been monitoring the schools of sharks as they feasted on dead swordfish sitting about 1,476 feet below the surface. The sharks were minding their own business, having a nice time picking apart the dead swordfish, and from out of absolutely nowhere, the wreckfish snuck up behind one of the sharks and slurped it into its mouth hole and then swallowed it. You can see the entire thing on the video, which cuts out just as the shark's tail is slurped into the fish's mouth. Obviously, this is one rude fish. It's not very nice to sneak up on anybody and swallow them whole, whether it's a shark or not. But according to the NOAA, Wreckfish are massive beasts of the deep sea world, able to grow over 6 feet long and build a mass of 220 pounds. Number 3. A School of Fish The coolest photo of 2020 has been awarded to the camera guy who managed to capture the exact moment that a whale shark had an entire school of fish in its mouth. It's one thing for a shark to open its mouth and swallow a few fish, but this photograph is simply amazing. The whale shark literally scooped up the entire school of fish like a kid scooping up all the butterflies in a field with one swing of a butterfly net. The photograph was taken in Mexico, where photographer Evans Borden was able to capture this scene while diving on his own during the coronavirus lockdown. Evans runs a diving company and was documenting the effects of reduced boat traffic on wildlife. He says that the female whale shark was friendlier than usual and came to say hello. What's even cooler is that you can see the fish just kind of suspended inside the shark's mouth. It was actually a school of about 50 remoras that were enjoying a free ride in her mouth. Whale sharks don't eat remoras, these fish actually eat scraps of prey dropped by the shark and also feed off parasites on the shark's skin and in its mouth, providing a cleaning service. Evans said that it was the first time he has ever seen this. I've seen dozens and dozens of whale sharks around the world before, with remoras going in and out of their mouths. So I've never seen so many remoras literally sleeping inside and enjoying a free ride. The photo was a winner of Scuba Diving Magazine's annual photography competition. Number 2. Plenty of Birds By far the strangest things found consistently inside the bellies of sharks are feathers from birds. Sharks live in the ocean and birds live in the sky, so it doesn't really make sense that bird feathers are continuously discovered inside sharks. Just what exactly is going on here? According to some experts, sharks have a habit of coughing up feather balls when captured by ecologists. After analysing several feathers discovered barfed up by tiger sharks caught along the coasts of Mississippi and Alabama, a molecular biologist from the Field Museum discovered that the birds the feathers belonged to were brown thrashers. These are songbirds that live in the forest. So, why are they being found in the bellies of the apex predators of the ocean? You would think it would be pelican feathers or feathers from some kind of gull. Over the next eight years after this initial discovery, the same ecologist found bird remains in 41 out of 105 sharks caught. It turns out that large flocks of birds will sometimes migrate over the Gulf of Mexico. Whether because of exhaustion, storms, or some other unfortunate event, many of these birds plummet into the sea. It's likely that the sharks are simply scooping them up totally by accident. It's much less dramatic than expected, but still a pretty fascinating story. Number 1. Teacher Swallowed Whole This story is pretty terrifying. In 2014, a 28-year-old teacher was literally swallowed whole by a great white shark during a diving session off the coast of Australia. Sam Kellett was out on the water with friends and they were supposed to dive west of Adelaide, but a fire warning forced them to move spots. This decision would change all of their fates. The group was happily freediving and spearfishing until things went badly. One of the divers witnessed the entire thing. The diver allegedly began to scream once he saw the shark thrashing around where just moments earlier his friend had been swimming. Witness Aaron Whitaker said, I turned around and saw the tail of a shark come out of the water and it was thrashing around. I put my face under the water to see the shark but I couldn't see it. All of a sudden, a white pointer shark came out of the murky water vertically towards the surface just behind me and almost launched itself out of the water. Police divers were never able to recover the victim's body. This is because they were never able to find the shark that was responsible for swallowing him. The only items recovered were two lead weights and the man's spear gun, which had incisions consistent with the teeth of a great white shark. Apparently, it swallowed the diver, then chewed on his spear gun before spitting it out.
Number 10. Yellow-Bellied Sea Snake The yellow-bellied sea snake is one of the rarest venomous snakes in the world. It's an absolute monster to behold, and its yellow belly instantly screams, run away! They have a very wide range, being found from Peru to Australia and New Zealand to Hawaii. It's actually the only sea snake in the world that has arrived at the Hawaiian Islands. It's also only one of two sea snakes that has ever made its way to New Zealand. But the accolades don't stop there. The yellow-bellied sea snake is the most aquatic snake in the world. It has never in the history of evolution developed the ability to survive on land. This is a powerhouse reptile that can grow to be up to 34 inches long, which is just about 3 feet. As for the danger factor, the yellow-bellied sea snake is at the top of the food chain. It has no natural predators and is super venomous. The toxin is able to damage your skeletal muscle, it can inflict paralysis, and if left untreated you can die. But despite how dangerous the yellow-bellied sea snake is, it's such a rare animal that not a single death has ever been reported in Australia. Number 9. West African Carpet Viper The West African Carpet Viper is a savanna species of snake that you will never want to meet. According to the African Snakebite Institute, it's classified as very dangerous and it primarily lives in a wide stretch of land from Central Africa to the coast of West Africa. But it literally only lives in the savanna. You won't run into this snake anywhere in the jungle, but if you stand in the wrong place at night in the middle of the desert, you might find yourself bitten and in severe pain. An unexpected bite from the West African carpet viper can cause swelling, blistering, and massive tissue damage. Anti-venom is needed, and if not administered, the bites could be fatal. This snake has evolved over time to blend in perfectly with the rocks and dirt of its savanna environment. As a nocturnal ambush predator, it can typically be found coiled in a striking position while waiting for something to eat. And unfortunately for humans, this snake has adapted to urban areas and can often be found hunting near rural dwellings in West Africa. Number 8. Egyptian Cobra The Egyptian Cobra is another mean snake that you better hope never comes knocking on your door. Of course, the Egyptian Cobra would never knock on your door. It would simply slither under the door and then bite you in the leg. That's just how mean this snake is. It's one of the rarer species of Cobra and is not isolated strictly in Egypt. It's found all over East Africa and is seriously venomous. This is also a very robust snake with dwellings found inside trees and near riverbeds. That means you're basically never safe from the Egyptian Cobra when in its domain. It can be hiding anywhere. And even though the Egyptian Cobra can't spit its venom, it's still incredibly terrifying when it spreads its wide hood in warning. The average length of the Egyptian Cobra is up to around 7 feet, meaning the snake is taller than most humans. Have you ever seen a Cobra in real life? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 7. Green and White Ball Python The ball python gets its name from its tendency to curl into a ball and hide its head when it's stressed or scared. Ball pythons are widely favoured as pets because they are among the most popular kinds of pet snakes because they are quite calm and docile. They can get to be about 4 to 5 feet in length and can live up to 30 years if taken care of properly. But of course, going near a ball python in the wild and or owning one as a pet does come with some risks. For instance, while it might not be able to constrict a person to death, it is possible for one of these snakes to harm a human, especially a young child. And while a bite is unlikely to cause serious injury, the experience can still be traumatizing, painful, and expensive. They come in all kinds of unique color variations, some of which are extremely rare and unique. There are now over 4,000 morphs in captivity, ranging from acid, which is the dark brown or black with golden spots, to the banana, the dreamsicle, with white or pink, to the sunset, to green with white, which who knows what it's called. If you could have any colored snake, what would you choose? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We have lots more animal videos coming up. Number 6. The Malayan Crate The Malayan Crate is a slippery bugger. According to Thailand snakes, about 50% of all bites from this thin serpent result in death. This is even true with the administration of anti-venom. If no treatment is given, death is almost always inevitable. Based on the data of toxicity levels of terrestrial snakes, the Malayan crate actually ranks third for toxicity, meaning it's more than just deadly. This snake is also known as the blue crate, and they can be found all over Thailand and other countries in Southeast Asia. They are relatively rare, and they are very distinct. The snake has black splotches with white stripes in between, and it typically lives near rice fields and dams. The Malayan crate will move into a rat hole and spend most of its time hunting lizards, frogs, and other small animals. 
If bitten by one of these snakes on your next vacation to Thailand, you better have a good immune system. The first symptom is nausea, followed by vomiting and weakness. Within one hour of being bitten, respiratory failure could occur, leading to death. What's really strange is that the bite itself is sometimes painless. You may not even know you've been bitten until you start to get sick, and before long, your lungs could stop working and your vacation will be over quicker than you thought. Number 5. Coastal Taipan The Coastal Taipan is yet another horribly dangerous snake. This is one you will find mostly around the continent of Australia and even on the island of New Guinea. According to most professional toxicologists, the Coastal Taipan is either the third or fourth most venomous snake in the world. There is still some speculation on just what constitutes the most venomous. This serpent was first described by a German naturalist in 1867, and since then two subspecies have been recognised. The Coastal Taipan is considered to be the longest venomous snake in the country of Australia. An adult can grow to be almost 7 feet in length. And even though the inland Taipan is more venomous, it's not quite as long. As for the appearance of the snake, it actually looks a lot like a black mamba. The Coastal Taipan has a relatively slender body, a large head, and big beady black eyes. Number 4. Tiger Snake The Tiger Snake is definitely the most adorable serpent on the list for today, and that's really saying something. At least, they're adorable when they're small. It's not until they get huge and mean that they become suddenly terrifying. In any case, the Tiger Snake is so unique that you're unlikely to ever confuse it with a different type of slithering animal. It has black and yellow striping, quite similar to that of a tiger, and it doesn't quite look as dangerous as the other snakes we've talked about today. The total length of the tiger snake varies from anywhere between 3 feet and 6 feet, and their habitat is also just as broad. They live in the marshes, open forests, and even the grasslands of Australia. You can find tiger snakes all over the continent, but most Australians don't even know about the fearsome reputation of the snake. That's because most people will never encounter one. Tiger snakes are extremely rare animals, and even though they look pretty harmless when they're small, compared to a cobra or a coral snake, the tiger snake is extremely aggressive and highly toxic. Not only is it completely unafraid to attack you, but also a single bite could leave you blue and breathless. Number 3. Mojave Green Rattlesnake The Mojave Green Rattlesnake is one of the most terrifying snakes in North America. And while rattlesnakes are of course pretty common, the Mojave Green is a special case. Keep in mind that there are many different types of rattlesnakes, most of them spread throughout the United States and Mexico. The Mojave Green is not the same as the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. They're two totally different animals. The Mojave Green lives in the south of California, all the way to the Sonoran Desert. And what really separates the snake from others is that it kind of looks green. It's not completely green, but it has an extremely light brown colouring that makes it appear greener than other rattlesnakes. In terms of pure danger, you can expect a bite from the Mojave Green Rattlesnake to be just as horrifying as from any other venomous rattlesnakes found in a North American desert. If bitten by one of these fascinating creatures, you will need medical attention immediately. Number 2. The Rarest Snake in the World Let's take a break from all the horror just for one second to check out the rarest snake in the world. The St. Lucia Racer is not especially dangerous, but according to a five-month extensive survey done on the small island of St. Lucia, it turns out there are only 18 of these snakes left on Earth. This is incredible because for 40 years, locals thought the snake had gone extinct. It had been thought for decades that the invasive mongooses had killed off all the St. Lucia Racers. Then, in 1973, a single St. Lucia Racer was found on a small protected island. Now, scientists believe there are as many as 18 left scattered somewhere on the island, which makes the St. Lucia Racer the rarest snake in the world. Now that the island of St. Lucia is free of the mongooses that had originally killed most of the native reptilian inhabitants, these snakes are making a comeback. They aren't dangerous, but they are the rarest. Number 1. Sea Crates Sea Crates are the most dangerous and fascinating animals we're going to be talking about today. There are actually five names that have been given to this one species, which has made identifying the snake extremely confusing. Sea crates are often referred to as banded sea crates, banded sea snakes, or even yellow-lipped sea crates. But the truth is that it's really just a sea crate, and it's easily identifiable by its blue and black pattern of stripes. The term crate refers to a type of venomous snake found primarily in Asia, but there are some significant differences between a sea crate and a normal land snake. The first major difference is in the tail. Because sea crates have developed special paddle-like tails for swimming through water, they do look a little different from standard land snakes. But there's also a big difference between sea snakes and sea crates. Sea snakes live in the water and don't spend any of their time on land, whereas sea crates can go from the sea to the land without any problem. 
Sea crates spend an equal amount of time underwater and slithering along the ground. They're basically land and water hybrids. Oh yes, and they are one of the most lethal creatures in the world. The sea crate has venom 10 times more powerful than a rattlesnake. The only good news is that the sea crate is generally very peaceful and will only attack when cornered. The bad news is that if you're hanging around in Asia, specifically in Southeast Asia, you can't escape the sea crate. They're on land and in the water. Next thing you know, they'll be flying through the skies. All these snakes are pretty rare and unique, but out of all of them, which one do you think is the scariest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't be shy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for all the newest videos from the channel.